since last night was our second night upstairs, I thought it was time for a tour. The hallway is mostly done. The floor is done. This railing is in, it just needs to be stained. Um, Tegan decorated her door. That one door I need to paint, I also need to paint my nails, because I accidentally bought pre-finished doors for everything except the bathroom. That one is just primed and I have to paint it. There's also a few spots around the doors that got fixed in the trim. So, ugh. okay, it's painting, but just details. My beautiful chair, I told you I wanted something that mostly looked cool. And Nick and I both think it's super comfy. So I'm excited about that. Obviously there's evidence that we are still doing lots of projects, but most of the tools have moved on. All right, so let's see what's behind door number one. Here is Tegan's tiny room. She wanted a lofted bed while sharing with Liam. She has been on the top bunk and loving it. And she's still little enough that she plays with toys. So this gives her space to do that. She got that beanbag chair for her birthday. Cats are her favorite thing. And it's a nice cozy spot. This I found on Amazon to hold everything you would put on a nightstand that she um, doesn't obviously have access to. So it's got tissues. She gets nosebleeds. That's why there's a garbage can up there. I know it's weird. But, um, yeah, a little flashlight in case she gets nervous at night. Chapstick, the usuals. I also put that little light on the wall. It plugs in below from Ikea. Super cute and super tiny. And she can use it for reading before bed or... Um, just as like a bedside light so she doesn't have to climb up and down in the dark. Her dresser just fits. And she has this cube shelf, which is my favorite thing, to hold her Minecraft Legos and all the essentials. We still haven't unpacked everything that was in the shed, so I'm sure this will fill up quickly. So that's it for Tegan's room. Her room is, I would say 98% done. I have to paint just the trim around the doorway, but that's it. And how about this super cool gamer room? Liam wanted to paint his room black, which made me nervous. But we compromised on one wall and then did this chair rail height stripe around. The top and the ceiling are all light gray and it looks so cool. His dresser is obviously not up here yet. That's coming up later this afternoon. Nightstand and bed. This one is a little bit higher. There are two drawers for storage underneath. That one you can't open because of the nightstand, so I'm not sure what's going to go in there. He also has a cube shelf for all of his treasures. And look at this amazing rug I found. He didn't really want a big rug. He wanted room to be racing Hot Wheels cars and building tracks. So we compromised on a tiny something because I thought he might like getting up and having something cozy under his toes in the winter. And my favorite, my favorite. I love this. Someone on Etsy 
made this and they sold it initially in red, but they made one in black for me. Super, super cool. And our room, our room feels like a magical oasis and I love every bit of it. The area rug's a tiny bit too big, but it's what we had from Tegan's old room. A beautiful fan, my pendant light that everyone thought I was nuts for hanging in the corner, but it's so magical. My bed I am desperately in love with. I've been lusting over it for almost a year. And it's from Article. I'll link all the stuff below if you are interested at all. It has these attached drawers for nightstands. And in a slightly... I don't know, unusual decision for two grown-ass humans. We decided to skip the dresser and go with a cube shelf. It's not as deep as a dresser, and our room is tiny, so it helps leave us enough room to walk through. I haven't actually put anything in it yet, except maybe, like, some socks, but <laughs> we have to actually fill it. There's some leftover hardware to take care of, but then we can put some beautiful things and some books on top. And what else? Oh, for the windows, I got, ugh. I didn't want, let's pause and rewind, windows. Would I love curtains? Yes, I would, but they um, would look stupid. They would look so stupid. Even if I just hung on either side so it didn't mess with the radiator, this wall is so short that it would look dumb and make the room look all stunted. So what I need is probably custom Roman shades, but I can't afford custom Roman shades. So we went with rollers in all of the rooms and these actually work much better than I anticipated. They're $20 or less roller shades from Ikea. And they go so nice and slow. And they don't freak out and snap up. And the kids have had no problem using them. We did get on this window another roller shade from Ikea, but it was lot more like $70 or something and we wanted to get one to try it to see if it was three times as awesome as the others and it's not it's not I mean it's nice but it's not $70 compared to 20 nice the only problem is you can see these but it's white and the wall's white, so it kind of blends. Anyway, we'll see what we upgrade to eventually. So up next, see I haven't painted any of the trim around any of the doors. I'm gonna do that when I do the hallway. I'm not going to show you the bathroom. Everything is hooked up, but it's not painted. So I don't want to ruin the surprise of the big reveal when it's done. So that's it. You guys, we're almost there. We're sleeping up here like real people with doors and it's kind of magical. There's also nothing in the closet yet, no shelves or anything. So I have to figure out what's going in there. And when I decide and it happens, I'll update you. That's it for now. Bye all.